So you can click on whether they succeed or whether they fail. I wonder what she decided to do. Look at her. She just could not wait for me. Girl, I'm about to delete this thing. Seriously. I just can't. She can't stay off it. What's up y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome in if you are new here my name is ashley if you are returning welcome back friend so today i am bringing you part two to the video i did a couple weeks ago um where i talked about my top functional cc items in this video i am going to be talking about some more functional objects that i adore and I'm also going to be talking about a few overrides. You guys asked for part two, so I am here to deliver. The sim you see here on the screen is Shayla. She is going to be my model for the day. And she is going to be showcasing all of these objects and all of these overrides. So let's get into it. So the first override I want to show you guys is by QMBB. It is a tip override. I'm going to have Shayla go ahead and place an order for delivery. So that way you guys can see what the tip override looks like. So let's order some Insemnia Eats. And let's just get something random. Let's get a Shake Shack burger and some Shake Shack cheese fries. Let's go ahead and place that order, Shayla. All right, so we placed our order. Hopefully it comes soon. Our girl Shayla is in the living room watching A Quiet Place while she waits for her order. All right, so it looks like our delivery guy is here. Let's come over here and accept delivery. And actually, I'm going to lock this door because I really don't want him walking up in our house. So let's lock for everyone but Shayla. Let's grab our food. And I'm going to go ahead and tip him so you guys can see what the override looks like. So as you can see, instead of a big shiny coin, we are giving him a $5 bill, which I can appreciate because it just adds more realism to the game. All right, Shayla is back inside enjoying her little Shake Shack cheese fries. <laughs> Once she finishes eating, I'm gonna have her showcase this next item. So the next object I wanna show you guys is one of my favorite, favorite objects. Like I just recently discovered this object. I really don't know how long it's been out, but ciao. Ever since I downloaded it in my game, I absolutely love it. So it is called The Struggle Pot. And when I say that is the perfect name for this object, I'm not kidding. <laughs> So if you have a sim that's running low on funds or maybe you're doing like a rags to riches story, I feel like this object is so perfect for it because you can make food for your sims without having to break the bank. So as you can see, it says make cheat meal because this is the struggle pot. So let's go ahead and see what kind of meals we can make with this struggle pot. So Shayla is only cooking level two. I'm going to go ahead and cheat up her cooking skill to level 10. So that way we can see all of the things the struggle pot has to offer. So here are the different cheap meals your sim can make. You got cornbread and milk, top ramen, cinnamon sugar toast, chili dogs, craft mac and cheese, cream of wheat, hamburger helper. Stop playing. Listen, the hamburger helper still slaps still to this day. Rice and beef gravy, chicken rice aroni, cheesy ham scramble and toast, fried bologna. Listen, if you talk to any of my friends, they will probably tell you that I'm a little high maintenance because I like expensive things, but I am never too bougie for a fried bologna sandwich. I will tell you that. <laughs> Bacon, rice, and toast, ramen, spaghetti, and hot dogs. So this is definitely a struggle pot. So if you are running a Rags to Riches LP or you have a sim that's struggling a little bit, definitely pick up this pot. So Shayla, when you're done eating your Shake Shack, let's come over here and make some hamburger helper. All right, y'all, Shayla is all done. She's about to come in here and make that hamburger helper. And the hamburger helper is only $10. And how much you wanna bet we're gonna get so many servings out of it? And look at the pot. The pot actually looks like a struggle pot. Q and baby, this is chef's kiss. Let's see how it came out. Period. Our good sis then picked her up a serving and this is what it looks like on the plate. Even though Hamburger Helper is considered a cheap meal, you season it up real good, chow, it's going to slap, okay? Look at how she devoured that. All right, Shayla is all done with her Hamburger Helper. Now that she's all done with that, I'm going to have her put this away 
And then we're gonna showcase this next item. So this next item I wanna showcase is also by QMBB and it is also food related. My poor Sim is going to be a glutton by the time this video ends, I promise you. <laughs> so this item is called the sushi mat. So your Sim can make all different kinds of sushi. So now that we've leveled up Shayla's cooking skill to level 10, we should be able to see all the options. So let's go ahead and make sushi. And as you can see, QMBB has given us several options. So we have avocado rolls, spam and egg musabi, California rolls, spicy tuna rolls, unagi roll, spicy salmon cucumber roll, wasabi tuna nigiri, rainbow roll, steamed egg nigiri, firecracker roll, shrimp nigiri, yellowtail nigiri. Let me know in the comments down below if y'all eat sushi. I swear I was never a sushi girl until I started working where I work now because that is all they order for lunch. So I'm gonna have Shayla come over here and make a spicy salmon cucumber roll because that sounds real good. And y'all, get into this animation. We got our little salmon here. She's chopping it up. We have our soy sauce on the side. We also have some seaweed on the side. I just love, love, love how realistic this is. Look at her chopping up the cucumber. All right, let's see how it came out. Oh, that looks so good. Hold on. We need to get a closer look. Y'all, look at this. Look at how realistic this sushi looks. I'm telling you, this sushi mat would be so lit for sim parties. You can have your sim do like a little sushi night. Go ahead and grab a serving, Shayla, so we can show the people what it looks like. Y'all, look at the sushi. It looks so good. And when she eats it, she's going to use chopsticks. I absolutely love everything about this sushi mat. 10 out of 10, highly recommends. Girl, calm down. <laughs> Girl, just embarrassing. Embarrassing. <laughs> so the next thing I want to show you guys is a very, very small override. And it's also by QMBB. It is the pack into sack lunch override. So I'm going to have Shayla come over here and pack the sushi into a sack lunch. So you guys can see what it looks like. So as y'all know, the EA version of this is a brown paper baggie. When she packs into a sack lunch, it's actually going to be in this little styrofoam. How freaking cute is this? And I absolutely love this because if you are having parties for your Sims and you're having a cookout and you cook a whole lot of food and they want to take a to-go plate, this styrofoam gives it that much more realism. All right, y'all, we are outside with Shayla. I figured we could take a little break from the food mods because I do have a couple more I want to show you. So the next item I want to showcase is this little hula hoop by Ozzy Sim. So if you guys seen part one to this video, then you have seen the jump rope. It is the same creator. So I'm going to have her come over here and do the hula hoop. And actually, let's change her clothes into something a little bit more comfortable. All right, that's a little better. So let's see what the animation looks like. So just like the jump rope, while she's hula hooping, she is going to be able to build up her fitness skill. And because her fitness skill is kind of low, she does not hula hoop for long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat up her fitness skill. We're going to set it to level 10 so we can really get into this animation. So let's go ahead and do the hula hoop. So as you can see, now she's going to do the hula hoop a little bit longer now that her fitness skill is maxed out. Look at her. She feeling more confident. She's doing a little bit of tricks. <laughs> I absolutely love this. Look at her. She having a good old time too. Hey, go Shayla. Get it Shayla. Go Shayla. Get it Shayla. She said, oh, yips. <laughs> So this is another extra creative way that your sims can build up their fitness skills. So if you want to add more activities into your game, I highly suggest downloading this hula hoop. Oh, oh, do y'all hear that? Is she? Hold on. So, I mean, Shayla is a little bit ahead of me. <laughs> she went and decided to showcase the next one on her own. So I was going to show you guys the mechanical bull, but since she is in her backyard doing what I think she's doing, I'm just going to go ahead and showcase what she's doing right now. And then we'll come back to this. And y'all, the next mod is only for 18 plus. So I'm giving you your warning now before we jump into the next item. 
So for this next part, I'm going to go ahead and mute my game because some people don't like the sound of S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. So this next item is by Sepsid. It is a functional S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G range. And if you want to build a G-U-N range in your game, I highly suggest downloading this mod because this is going to make your G-U-N ranges functional. So I'm going to go ahead and have her practice like she was doing earlier. <laughs> So you guys can see what the animation looks like. So this is her practicing S-H-O-O-T-I-N-G. So again, if you want to build a functional G-U-N range in your game, I highly suggest downloading this mod by Sepsid. All right, so back to the item I was going to show you. <laughs> this is a functional mechanical bowl by Sepsid. And I don't know if I'm putting up this video first before my Black Widow episode 14. But if you guys watch my Black Widow LP, when you watch episode 14, you will see that Saya and Rodney went on vacation and they ended up riding on this mechanical bull. So I got this mechanical bull from Sepsid. So let me show y'all what it looks like. So when you click on it, hold on, let me change my G shade. I actually need to update it. <laughs> Um, you do have a series of options. So you have Bucking Bronco, you have Crazy Cowgirl, Easy Rider, and then you can also choose the fate of your Sims. Child, she is always one step ahead of me. <laughs> so you can click on whether they succeed or whether they fail. I wonder what she decided to do. Look at her. She just could not wait for me. Oh. Oh, oh, Shayla. <laughs> she is having too much fun on this bowl. Okay, period. So she must have chose the success option. So that is exactly what it looks like when your Sims ride on the mechanical bowl. All right, so on to the next item. The next item I want to show you guys is this functional beer barrel by Somic and Severinka. Um, so I would wouldn't place this in a house per se i would definitely if you're thinking about building a bar um this would definitely be good for a bar so you can actually click on it now she going back to go in the bowl girl if you don't get back here <laughs> you can either get some amber beer light beer barley beer or dark beer i'm gonna have her come over here and buy some amber beer so you guys can see what it looks like she really want to get back on that bowl so bad <laughs> And get into this animation, y'all. So when she buys the beer, look at that. I think this is so cute. It's such a small mod, but it adds so much more realism to your game. All right, once she finishes her beer, we can go back into the kitchen. And, oh shoot, not our sushi went bad. Child, she gonna have to come in here and clean this up. <laughs> All right, so once she finished cleaning up, I'm gonna have her showcase the next item. So the next item I wanna showcase is by QMBB. It is the Instant Pot and Pressure Cooker. So this definitely gives you more food options that your Sims can cook in game. And if you can't tell by now, I am a very big foodie. That's why a lot of these mods are heavily food focused. <laughs> All right, so let me show you guys what some of the options are. She can make soups, she can cook, she can make one pot meals. Under soups, we have chipino, zuppa toscana, roasted chicken and vegetable noodle soup, lasagna soup, garden minestrone, loaded baked potato soup with bacon. That actually sounds really good. Cheddar broccoli soup. So you have quite a bit of options. Oh, chicken and dumplings. I'm gonna have her go ahead and make that. <laughs> All right, so we're making our chicken and dumpling. So it does tell you when cooking is in progress and it's also gonna let you know when it's done. It does take a little minute for the meal to finish. So she's gonna go ahead and ride on that mechanical bowl again. <laughs> and then once it's finished, she's gonna come back and take out all the servings and I'll show you guys what it looked like. Girl, I'm about to delete this thing. Seriously, I just can't. She can't stay off it. I'm so done. Let me go check on the soup and see if it's ready. All right, so it looks like the soup is ready. Once it's ready, this is going to turn orange. She's gonna have to come in here and release the steam vent before taking out the soup. 
All right, perfect. Now that she has released the steam vent, she can now go ahead and grab all servants. She can also grab a servant for herself, but I like to grab all servants, take them all out so we can see what it looks like. And then if we have company over, they can also grab a serving as well. All right, so this is our little chicken and dumplings. Let's go ahead and grab a serving. And let's see what it looks like on the plate. Y'all, look at it. It looks so good. Listen, I am a sucker for a good food mod. All right, it looks like she is all done with her chicken and dumpling. I have one last food mod to show you guys. So this next item I want to show you is also by QMBB. It is the Grill Master Set. This Grill Master Set gives you more food options to put on the grill. So let's go ahead and see what we have. We got hot dog, smoked sausage dog, and potato salad with baked beans, cheddar bacon cheeseburgers, smoked barbecue pulled pork burger and sweet potato fries, honey grilled watermelon, grilled mozzarella portobello mushroom burger, and sweet potato fries, barbecue mac and cheese, baked beans, collard greens, and cornbread. Listen, the options are endless. Baby back ribs, collard greens, mac and cheese, and coleslaw, barbecue brisket, potato salad, and coleslaw, and sweet bread. I'm so hungry. I am so hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna have her make the barbecue mac and cheese, baked beans, collard greens, and cornbread so we can see what that looks like. I am literally going to fatten my sim up by the time this video is over and I cannot say that I'm mad. <laughs> All right, she got her meat on the grill. If it's summertime in your games, definitely go ahead and grab the grill master set because that's gonna make your barbecues and cookouts so lit in your game i promise you period hold on let's get a good look at this shayla i know you probably full but i'm gonna have you go ahead and grab another servant <laughs> all right she gonna sit down she gonna enjoy that little barbecue with collard greens cornbread mac and cheese the whole she got the whole shebang on this plate. Look at it. All right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I will more than likely do a part three to this video because there are some more smaller mods that I want to talk about. Just like the last video, all the mods that I talked about in this video will be linked in the description box down below. Some of the QMBB mods mentioned in this video are still behind paywall, but will eventually be free. The only mods that are still behind paywall, I believe, are the sushi mat, the instant pot, and the two overrides. So the tip override and also the pack a sack lunch override. If you have the money, I highly suggest supporting the creator. However, if you are running low on funds, definitely keep a lookout for these mods because they will eventually be free. All of the other mods mentioned in this video are already free. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.